Tango. We're live. We're here. We're at Think Tech Hawaii. We're doing Aloha United. We stand. I'm Jay Fidel. I got two beautiful women with me here today. What a treat. Uh, we have Kelly Hain. Yes. That's spelled H O E N. Absolutely. It's Dutch, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure, actually. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Take a DNA test yet. <laughs> and she is, uh, this is an honor. She's the general manager of Modern Hawaii, Modern, Modern Honolulu what yes. is it? Hotel uh -huh. in Waikiki, which is a very nice hotel. Thank you. Say, you Thank know. you. Uh, and we have, uh, from Aloha United Way, we have Emily um, Mendez Bryant, and uh, she is the Vice President of uh, Fundraising and Major Gifts. Hi, Emily. Again. Hi. Nice to have you back. Thank you. <laughs> so you guys have, you're kicking off now. You got a big uh, project going. It's a big fundraising mm -hmm. thing. Uh, it's got multiple parts. This, we're going to talk about one of the parts today, namely the Hotel Lodging uh, and Tourism Association mm -hmm. um, and all the hotels in Waikiki, really. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, but you have some talking points. So sure. what I thought I would do is I'm going to give you as much time as you want <laughs> to reveal your talking this points so awesome. on one condition. What? Give me your notes. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. You're so good. Oh. <laughs> it's Go a test, it. right? Go for it. Okay. Yeah, it's a test. Thank you. You pass. Oh, I, can I know. Tell you I'm now. so yeah. Score. I got it already. I haven't even begun yet. <laughs> well, thanks so much for having us here, and you know, I just love being here with you, Jay. So. Join the movement, that's our campaign theme for this year. And it really emphasizes how anyone in our community can join in this effort of just fundraising and contributing to the community, whether it's donations or also volunteering. So definitely, you know, join our movement. We have a kickoff this Friday, which is August 26, from 6 o'clock to 9 a.m., bright and early in the morning. So mm -hmm. I'll expect you to be there. It's just in Tamarind I'm Park. I'm surprise you. Yeah. Right <laughs> I'm going to pitch that. <laughs> so you can be there with us. You know, we'll be sign waving. This year alone, we've seen um, an increase of participation. So we will have at least 500 plus people there. And that are pe those will include people who are employees of workplace campaigns that are running. Um, fundraisers right now or nonprofits that have received funding through us. So we're really excited. You know, Dustin Sellers is this year's campaign chair. So it, it's a big effort and we definitely want to see and emphasize that we can't do it alone and we invite the whole entire community, the public to come and join us and, and really make a difference in our community long term. Yeah. You know, I've been uh, doing this show with Aloha United Way, Aloha United We Stand, we call it, um, for a couple, almost a couple of years now. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and I must say, I know a lot about the charities you support, and I know a lot about the way you work mm -hmm. you know, inside, and I'm very impressed. I think you're a bastion of our society here in Honolulu, in Hawaii. Thank yeah. you. Mm -hmm. You're doing a great job, and you're making people come together, mm -hmm. all sides of the disparity, so to speak, which exactly. is very kind of you mm -hmm. and nice. Do you like your work? I love it. I, I can tell you. I know. Oh. I, I, this is my passion. It's great. So how does it fit now with the Hotel Lodging and Travel Association? How does it fit? Do you want me to answer that? Yeah. Oh, sure. <laughs> sure. Go for it. So we're just super excited because we obviously know that the Hawaii Lodging Tourism Association, yeah. um, HLTA, is a huge association in our community mm -hmm. um, and also I mean it comprises of over 700 members and there the members are, include hotels yes and all yes. kinds of businesses mm -hmm, yeah. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. different um, organizations and companies fall under that umbrella so we're really excited this year because we're partnering up with them in regards to this whole new endeavor of launching a what we call the HLTA AUW Fall Campaign. Mm -hmm. But I'll have Kelly talk about okay. that more. Okay, you want to host the show? <laughs> yes. I'm facilitating here. Oh, I'm awesome. sorry. I know. It's fantastic. So, Kelly, what, what is your role now with the, uh, that is the Hawaii Lodging and Tourism Association? Yes, yes. What's, what's your connection, your partnership, so to speak, with sure. Aloha United Way? Well, I, I really feel um, honored to be the co-chair of this year's, uh, and the first time that we've really had this concerted effort. 
uh, Mufi Hanneman, who's our CEO of Hawaii Lodging and Tourism Association, HLTA, uh, looked at me and he said, Kelly, you know, we, we think perhaps you could be a good, uh, a good chairperson. And I said, I really need some help. <laughs> and so Terry Orton, our general manager of the Hawaii Convention Center, is my co-chair. Mm -hmm. And she's dynamic, amazing. And we've had a lot of fun this year in really bringing back that spirit mm -hmm. of Aloha United Way as our fall anchor fundraising effort in Waikiki mm -hmm. and in the state of Hawaii. Mm -hmm. um, I'm fortunate enough to grow up here in Hawaii, fourth generation. Mm -hmm. And my dad was on the board of Aloha United Way. Mm -hmm. So I do remember as a kid, it was, it was what we did. Mm -hmm. You know, it was, it was who we were. And yeah. so growing up, it was definitely a part of um, kind of my DNA, if you will. So it was fun to be able to be the chairperson and co-chair this year to bring the hotels together. And we're excited because we have our first ever kickoff and that's next week on the 30th in Waikiki, uh, in Waikiki at the Royal Hawaiian Center, which, mm -hmm. you know, is the heart mm -hmm. of Waikiki. So we're, we're, we're going to have a really incredibly fun event, as hospitality hoteliers do. Um, it's at 4 o'clock on August 30th. We're going to have live entertainment. We have prizes, of course, and the Royal Hawaiian Center has created such a great venue for us in the Royal Grove, which is in that center. We have live auction items, live music with Star Kalahiki, who is a phenomenal entertainer. So we have a lot of fun that's going to that's gonna happen next week. So you're the, you're the general manager of an, an operating hotel in yes. Waikiki. Yes, yes. That's a pretty heavy job. That's it's an a, important yeah. job. I mean, yeah. you make the economy run for us. You are the engine of our economy. Yeah. How do you have the time for this? Uh, well, <laughs> I, I, can I clarify one of your statements, though? Um, I, I would like to say that the team members at the Modern really make it happen, um, okay. and I'm really honored and blessed to be the leader there. Um, I've been so fortunate to be in hospitality all of my career. Um, as a matter of fact, I actually started at the Ilikai, is that right? which is yeah, a, a few years ago at the yeah. front desk. You're not asking and, how many. Um, no, <laughs> but it's so fun because the modern Honolulu is that cool, hip, mm -hmm. sexy hotel yes, yes, that was mm -hmm. part of the Ilikai at one time. So I feel like it's full circle. Uh, but, you know, where do I find the time? It is a passion of mine, actually, community. And, and it really is so important um, because what, what, what we do, certainly in, in the visitor industry, is all of our team members, all of our so associates, all of our employees are the community. And when we see a, some, like Aloha United Way, so many of our, our team members, our employees, associates, need the services of Aloha United Way. And it's just incredible to, you know, the 360 kind of opportunity that I know I have as a leader here in Waikiki to be able to be a part of it. You know, just so I know you a little better. So sure. you, you're part of a Kama'aina family, but yes. and you started mm, in hotels in yes. Waikiki and the yes. Yulikai. Yes. Uh, but then you, you, you went on the circuit, I take it. You went to the mainland for a period of time? A very short period of time, yeah, just right. one year. All of my career has been here in Hawaii. So you fully understand how, how yeah. Waikiki works then? I was on Kauai also. Oh, and, I was all, also, okay. I was also on Hawaii Island. Yeah. So here in, uh, in the Hawaiian Islands, I've been just really, really, really fortunate to be in amazing places. Yeah. Now, you were telling me before we began about, uh, you know, how things had kind of deteriorated in terms of the connection of the hotels mm -hmm. and the staffs of the hotels mm -hmm. with um, charitable, you know, giving through Aloha United Way. Um, what, what happened? Why did it happen? And, and uh, it sounded like a conscious decision to come back to the way it was before. Sure, sure. Well, you know, um, what I believe um, happened and uh, when, we, when we looked at the data in terms of fundraising and contributions to Aloha United Way over the past 20 years, uh, the hotels were a, a real strong contributor. Uh, they continued to contribute to nonprofits and not through Aloha United Way. And so many still do, like Starwood in Hawaii is one of the major contributors to Aloha United Way, and that has never wavered. Mm -hmm. And that's Kyoya Hotels, the ownership group there, phenomenal contributors. So they've kept that as their anchor. Many other hotels and hotel companies have, but over the years they went directly to a nonprofit. And so as a team, we met actually with Aloha United Way last year 
to help us with a couple of things. Um, as you know, every year, um, Hawaii Lodging and Tourism Association has the Charity Walk in May, which is a statewide fundraising effort. And so we needed some help. And so Aloha United Way has helped us with, quote unquote, the back end of Charity Walk, with the technical side, mm -hmm. the vetting of nonprofits, the organizational, the organizational side. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So yeah. that we <laughs> determined last year would be our partnership for 2016. And we would really start this emphasis of bringing the hotels back to Aloha United Way again. So that's, that's kind of how it has evolved. What a great thing. Yeah, it's fun. So uh, I remember when I was in the military, uh, we had the combined federal campaign, mm -hmm. which was mm -hmm. part of Aloha United Way. Mm -hmm. okay. um, and the big question, you know, was how you approach your staff, mm -hmm. and um, you know, do you arm twist them or you do it voluntarily? How do you engage them, motivate them? You know, you, you are talking as a real manager, as sure. a leader manager, sure. and I'm really wondering how you fit that into your leadership package. Sure, mm -hmm. sure. Um, I have two two stories to tell. Hope it's okay. Uh, I was fortunate enough to be the general manager of the Royal Hawaiian before I came over to the modern Honolulu. And as I just described, Kyoya Hotels and Starwood Hotels, it is part and parcel of their efforts. And so that, from that perspective, the associates in those hotels are used to it. They're, they're very familiar with the, the campaigns. So it was... It was a, a really, I'm not going to say it was an easy effort as a general manager, but it was um, one that was already, the culture was already there. Mm -hmm. Coming to the modern Honolulu, it was new to our team, and it was new for them to know what is Aloha United Way, and, and what does that mean? So uh, how we've approached it is uh, educating our team members through a variety of different all-team member meetings, communication, and getting them to understand who benefits. And I'm really fortunate because our team, we have a really youthful team at the Modern Honolulu. And they're energetic, and they want to participate, and they want to volunteer. Not only makes me want to stay over at the hotel. Yes, <laughs> I'll tell you, it's pretty, it's pretty, it's pretty awesome. Um, not pretty awesome, it's really awesome. But the um, the team members there not only want to give of their own money, their personal money, they want to give their time. And so connecting them to the actual nonprofits that are benefiting. So we'll bring, we actually bring in several of the um, different nonprofit organizations to do talks with our team, mm -hmm. meet with our team, and then our team does outreach to a variety of different nonprofits. So they can understand so what's happening. Connect the it's dots. It's not just it's, filling out a form. Uh, not, it doesn't work if that's what it is. Yeah, yeah. yeah they don't want to participate. When yeah. we come back from this break, we're going to turn to you, Emily. We're going to ask you how you do this. I mean, what, what is your, what is your half of the partnership? What, mm -hmm. what, are you, what, what, what are your activities? What are your burdens during the course of the campaign? Okay. I want to know everything. I'll be taking notes. <laughs> we'll be right back. You'll see. Hi, I'm Stephen Philip Katz. I'm a licensed marriage and family therapist here in Hawaii, and I'm the host of Shrink Wrap Hawaii, which is on Tuesdays at 3 o'clock. Have a great summit. Take care of your mental health. Aloha everyone, I'm Maria Mera and I'm here to invite you to my bilingual show Viva Hawaii every other Monday at 3 p.m. Um, we are here to show you news, issues and events local and around the world. Join me. Hi, I'm Kili'i Akina, president of the Grassroot Institute. I'd love you to join us every week Mondays at 2 o'clock p.m. for Ehana Kako. Let's work together. We report every week on the good things going on in our state as well as the better things that can go on in the future. We have guests covering everything from the economy, the government, and society. See you Mondays on Ehana Kako at 2 o'clock p.m. Until then, I'm Kili'i Akina. Aloha. We're back. We're live. Uh, we have Emily um, Mendez Bryant from Aloha United Way and Kelly Hain uh, from the Modern Honolulu Hotel and uh, working on this great project, this great event, this fundraising thing. It's a, it's, it's a return to other times, maybe in some ways. Um, and, you know, and what I get in the universe of our discussion, what I get is uh, you guys are in a partnership. You have um, sort of a tiger by the tail in Kelly because she's so active and so <laughs> excited and so committed to, right. you know, to, to her co-chairmanship, co-chairpersonship. Right. 
So <clears throat> this is a fabulous opportunity. Mm -hmm. This is, you know, this is what makes Aloha United Way great because you guys collaborate all over town. You, right. you blanket the community, mm -hmm. and it works because everybody knows you're there, and they, they, you know, you have great, um, you know, trust and confidence in, by the community. So I just I'm curious, and I will be taking notes about exactly how you conduct this kind of campaign, uh, what kind of work you have to do, how you support Kelly, mm -hmm. how she works with you. Um, what is it like day to day? That's a great question. I think one of the things that I'd like to preface is that there's over 1,300 companies that do workplace campaigns. And so the breadth of just this general campaign that we're going into is very deep and definitely a foundational for the community here in Hawaii. So we're very proud of that. And from the 1,300 plus companies, we have 50,000 donors um, that are supportive of our mission and what we're doing. And so just creating value into the community and letting them know how they can give back in that way. So we have these three community impact areas, um, includes education, poverty prevention, and safety net. Mm -hmm. And so for us... Can you define them for yeah. me? <laughs> Go into it, like every single one? I can. A little bit. You want me to? Okay, so one of the things about the community impact areas is that our purpose is to help identify and solve Hawaii's most critical issues. Now, as you can tell, that is a daunting task. And of course, we have people like in the HLTA organization that are helping us, and also just overall in the community that are able to understand that there's certain issues that are at the forefront, including homelessness. Um, but in, you're, you're evaluating the priorities. Correct. You're exactly. actually studying what's important, mm -hmm. and I think that's one of the great contributions you make. Exactly. To make that analysis. Right. If not you, who, who then? Who will do it? Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So for education, we have found that it is super important to in, to ensure that our keiki are ready for whether it's kindergarten or just graduating from high school. Mm -hmm. So that's one of our focus areas. When it comes to poverty prevention, of course, homelessness comes into the forefront for us. And we received a, a state grant for $5 million that we're facilitating right now and distributing to the community um, and helping okay, people. It should be 50, okay? If you guys are watching. <laughs> 50. And yes. I, I could be wrong. It, hey, and maybe I should be saying 100. You know? Right. You're part of our team, our fundraising team, right? Thank you for that. Um, and then, of course, Safety Net, which is basically ensuring that people have their basic needs. Um, we have this 211 resource. It's a call center, and if people need help, they can call 211, just like 411911. And we have a call center at Aloha United Way, and we can provide that information, whether it's a food pantry, if they need food, um, if they need assistance with rental or housing, we can provide it's that fabulous. information. Mm -hmm. It's, it's offering a, exactly. a comfort to people they would not otherwise have. Right. And when you talk about how do we even get this started, is really creating awareness, not only within the companies, but individuals and in the public, just being on the show and letting people know mm -hmm. what we do and how we can help them make a difference in, in our neighborhood. Well, that's, it's like engaging your staff at yeah. the hotel. You right. engage the community. Right. <clears throat> you're making people aware, but more than that, you're making them come in, you know, mm -hmm. come in out of the cold. Let's let's do this together, yep. mm -hmm. which is a really noble thing to do. Um, and we have to help you. We all have to, not only the hotels, exactly. everybody. Yeah. Yeah. And one thing I did want to mention is that we have, there's a new endeavor that we have. And I know Kelly talked about, you know, having a, a, a young, energetic, group of employees mm -hmm. we also are looking and trying to strategize the millennial and we've talked about this in previous um shows i am a millennial <laughs> so, so am i, I. Oh. <laughs> it's <your name. laughs> jinx um yes so so that whole um demographic age range we I, I like to call them young professionals as well is that they also would like to contribute, whether it's monetary or, you know, their time. Mm -hmm. And so one of the things that we are doing within um, Dustin Sellers, our campaign chair's leadership, is to have a campaign committee. This is brand new for us. We're super excited about it. And so they comprise of 10 individuals, and they have workplace campaigns, or they help us 
with our mission through Aloha Yunai Way. And they're also engaged in trying to not only engage the young professionals within their own workplace, but also trying to help us get new people understanding what we do and want to join the movement. Mm -hmm. So we're, I mean, there's a lot of momentum happening with Aloha Yunai Way. Good, United good. Way. I know that. I see you every, every you meeting every <laughs> all of you every week. Right. I meet all your beneficiaries. Exactly. It's fabulous. Yeah. So, what are your metrics on this? <clears throat> what would make you really happy, Kelly? Wow. I'll ask you the same question. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's it's interesting you say that because um, you know Emily and the Aloha United Way team said, "What's the goal?" Mm. And I. I, I I'm a very goal-driven person, and I was a little nervous to put a goal out there because this is our first year. So I, I don't have a number. I have one in my. <laughs> I understand completely. But I don't. I don't. Would you really rather not reveal it? I'd rather right. not it's reveal personal. it because it's personal. Um, and I know. I just know it's going to be extraordinary. I can already, we have so many hotels that have committed mm -hmm. that didn't mm -hmm. run campaigns last year. And right. it's just, it's, I've been so proud and so pleased to see everybody really rallying around this. It's great that you have this response from HLTA. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know, but there's, there's considerations here. But for example, uh, we, you, uh, you put us in touch with uh, the Hawaii Community Association a month or two ago, and I, I really love that organization, mm -hmm. by the way, it's fabulous. Um, and the idea there is that the hotels would support that. Mm -hmm. uh, I, don't know, I, I assume they are. Yeah. <clears throat> because it helps to keep the lid on Waikiki. It helps yeah. to keep Waikiki from falling into, you know, trouble. Mm -hmm. um, it's the same thing here. I mean, yeah. the, so the hotels do have a kind of vested interest in building the franchise, in building a relationship Absolutely. with the community. Absolutely. I mean, the hotels cannot exist without the community. That's right. And frankly, from an economic point of view, the community can't exist without the hotels. Mm -hmm. And there has to be a relationship. And you want to see it touching. You want to see the two parts touching. Mm -hmm. You guys are touching. Mm -hmm. Right, yeah, right. Um, That's exactly so, right. And so you have a vested interest. That's right. You have a vested interest. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This could be, maybe it is, a big part of your of your fundraising mm -hmm. right here, it right is. here at the stable. Absolutely, <laughs> that's what we're hoping. Yes, definitely. <laughs> we're yeah, we know that. Mm -hmm. I promise you, when I ask you the same question, right? Okay, what's I your know. answer? The so, question, Mark, <laughs> what is your goal, secret sure. or otherwise? <laughs> right. <laughs> so, I mean, I like how Kelly answered it. Um, so I, I do want to mention Cindy Adams, our president and CEO, and of course her leadership. And she definitely, if she was to be here today, she would also talk about participation. Just really, I mean, we encourage 100% participation, but we also want to ensure that people realize this is all voluntary. We, we know that everyone has different situations, different dynamics, mm -hmm. um, and so we're just super fortunate to live here in Hawaii and those who are able to work um, to be able to thrive in this community and if they can to give back so we really emphasize participation whatever level that means to them mm -hmm. it whether it's donations monetary or just giving back with their time um, and helping out mm -hmm. they could do many events physically yeah physically mm -hmm. like that's, that's part of what you do isn't it yes. exactly volunteer opportunities all of that just every single change or action contributes to the bottom line. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, it would be nice to say, okay, we want this number. <laughs> of course we do. So, but, but at do. the same time, <laughs> I like what you said, 50 to 100. That's a good range, yeah. Um, but, at, but we want to also talk about just joining. You know, just do it, and especially for the first time. If not, just continue to do it every year. You know, it's connection, it's community, yeah, it's and together. make it important. Yeah. yeah, we have to be together. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, <clears throat> one of the things is, uh, and this goes to our conversation before we started, is that sometimes you find people want to designate mm -hmm. a particular charity. Mm -hmm. Right. Now, you're entering in a, a, a big campaign, and um, you know, you you always you always offer that possibility yes. mm -hmm. to contributors, but. What would you say to them? I mean, do you, do you want to encourage them or do you want to encourage them to, you know, not designate and, and have it across the board sure. and let Aloha United Way decide mm -hmm. who the ultimate beneficiaries are? Mm. So we're the, their vehicle. We want to ensure that whatever they want to do, we can 
execute. So there's three different ways when I look at it for them to participate. And one of them, like you had mentioned, is giving back through those agencies. So right now under Aloha United Way, we have over 300 partner agencies. So those are the nonprofits that can receive 342 money. last time I counted. 342. <laughs> <laughs> You're so good. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and so, you know, there's a vetting process and ensuring that any agency that falls under Aloha United Way, that they're fiscally responsible and they're results oriented and they, we ensure that the monies are spent the way they are supposed to be spent, right? right? We trust you for that. Exactly. It's really important. That's the value, right? But on the other hand, you know, you were talking about the history, at least in recent years, mm -hmm. of the hotel industry and the, and the staffing in the hotel industry and the charitable giving from the hotel staffs mm -hmm. uh, have been directed to certain specific charities. Right, mm -hmm. right. And, you know, the problem there, I mean, I, I do see a problem there, is that you don't have somebody who's making the priorities. Right. It's like who walks in the door and who pitches you right. a particular or, charity. Or your right. corporate office in you know, right. oh, yeah. somewhere saying this is the one you're going to do. Yeah, and that may not that necessarily be as impactful in Hawaii. Exactly, yeah, right, right, exactly. right. So you need priority. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. But the question is uh, you have people uh, in, on your staffs mm -hmm. who have given to the XYZ charity for some period of time. Right, right. And uh, you know, they may be wedded in some way to that charity mm -hmm. as a you know, knee-jerk historical reaction. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, what do you say to them? Well, actually, that is the beauty and the benefit of a United mm -hmm. Way. And that's how, when I was doing presentations to a lot of our general managers um, on our board, it was, you know, you may be giving to this one organization. And every single one I did a study was a part of Aloha United Way already. Sure. And so they can designate if they want. And they can say, you know, this is going to be the charity we're going to continue to support. And as individual uh, employees, you do have a choice. You can do the one that we're saying we really want to support. And you can also designate your own if you want to. And I, th that's what ha I believe has been the, the impetus to get back on track with Aloha United Way. Because the designation piece is a much, much more fluid and much more dynamic and easier to understand today than it was before. Right. So that's why I Instead believe... Instead of having just one charity. Yeah, right. exa exactly, exactly. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, yes. Okay, now we've come to the end of our show, <laughs> but I want to I offer you, Emily, the yes. opportunity to speak to the people about your startup tomorrow. So there's okay. camera one, so <laughs> engage them. M make them make them participate. Okay, with the red light. Where's the red light? I know there's a red light. There's the red light. See, talk to the red light. Oh, this red light right there. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So join us tomorrow, Friday, August 26th. We're super excited because tomorrow we are going to be kicking off the general campaign for Aloha United Way. Come join 500 plus other people who are going to be sign waving and just having so much fun and just really contributing back to the community and realizing that what we are doing here at Aloha United Way is making a long-term difference. So there you go. Please join me. Kelly will be there. Jay will be there. So you definitely <laughs> would like to get, you should go. <laughs> awesome. Thank you, Emily. Thank, Thank you, Kelly. Thank you. Mahalo you guys are true leaders in the community.